What you see on your screen is what we are going to be creating today and everything is going to be explained in this video. And you should also know that we are also going to be doing everything from scratch. So make sure to follow to the end. My name is Benjamin. I'm a verified Canva expert. Let's get straight into it. So you can see I've just deleted everything because I actually want us to start from scratch. The first thing we are going to do is to work on the background. So simply come to background color you can choose any color of your choice but i want a dark color okay so i'm just simply going to make it a bit like a darker gray the color code i am using is 161616 you can use the same if you are interested okay so the next thing we want to do is to come inside of element okay and just in case you don't know where element is this is where element is okay and just come in here and search for tech background okay so tech you can just say tech in fact let's just say tech and we can see a lot let's come into graphics there's so many of them if you're not finding what i am trying to look for okay this is what i'm trying to look for so you should see tech background okay come here change the color to white all right then you can simply make it bigger okay but the thing is we don't want it to be so visible so we'll just come here to transparency and reduce the transparency to something like this all right i think it's even too much so i'll reduce this to three yeah i think this is fine now this is what we have to do press c on your keyboard to add a circle and increase the size and make sure to do this come to the top over here okay the first thing i want you to do is to come to the color and choose no color okay make sure it's still selected then come to border style and choose you know the line and decrease the border width okay to like one then come to border color and change it to white very easy and very simple you should have this if you didn't have this by now then please go back go back god have mercy upon us okay okay so now that we have this make sure it's centered and to confirm your centration okay make sure you come to position and if it's not centered choose center and middle okay the two over here center and middle okay so now that we've done that come back into element and we'll need a number of photos okay but i would come into my recently used photos because i have a number of photos in here okay so um i will choose any of them for the start i'll choose maybe this lady no not this lady for the start because i want a photo that when i use i can easily drag and drop okay so i think this guy and i think with this photo it looks good so just crop it nicely like the way i am doing once you have what suits you come to corner rounding and increase the rounding okay once you decrease the size the rounding becomes more but you can just keep adjusting till you have what you are looking for okay now to arrange this image around the circle we can simply just put it here and you know just keep going but in this case you're just going to struggle and i'm also even going to struggle at the end of the day and that's not what i'm looking for okay so to make sure we have it looking better you put the picture on the circle and we are going to be using this dot over here okay this dot over here to gauge that all right so then we bring this here and we can do the same once you rotate it make sure the dot is touching or it's yeah it's touching the circle you know nicely and i think the photos look big so let's reduce the sizes okay to something like this so that at least we can have a lot of photos so once you do it you duplicate it okay and you rotate so that's what we are going to do until we have everything around the circle okay so once you have it then you duplicate and i'll do it a number of times before i speed up the whole process okay so i duplicate and i rotate just to make sure you know it's touching so you can see what we have and let me do it again for here then i rotate and i bring it here okay so you can see what we have at the moment and i'm just going to speed up the whole process so i don't waste your time okay So we can see when i did mine i faced a challenge i have this unusual space over here okay so what i can simply do is i can just select everything over here okay and accept the 
a circle so i'll remove the circle in the background i just want the photos and i can reduce the size a little bit okay so once i reduce the size i can just adjust things well and maybe bring this here okay so when i bring this here i may just have to adjust things a little bit okay if you can see we have some extra two spaces and i'm just going to adjust them nicely okay all right so this is what we have at the moment it's looking clean it's looking beautiful and it's looking sumptuous so all we just have to do now is to replace all the remaining images leaving the first one okay so all i can just do is to just click and drag you know as simple as that okay so just do the same you can just go into photos search for teenage or teenager and you should see a lot of teenagers so depending on the photos you want to use okay i really don't know the type of photo i want so i'm just going to be using you know these photos i have here so you can see what i'm doing and you can also do the same you just click and drag click and drag click and drag and we are almost sorted with here click and drag um let me see if i can find more teenagers so i'll just search for teen age okay then we'll come to photos see or i don't think we've used this lady okay then we can just bring it here and this is how everything is looking once we have that we can just click on the circle and remove it okay because the circle is just to help us arrange things nicely so once you selected everything just come to group okay and it should be one whole element on its own keep it centered and press r on your keyboard okay when you press r on your keyboard you should see this you know kind of shape a rectangle just move it here like this and change the color to the same color you have in the background okay to cover this space then duplicate it again okay when you duplicate it you can you know just click on the same color again just click on it and come to gradient so in gradient there are two colors you know by default so select the second color pick the color use the color picker to select the first color so that you have the same colors okay once you have the same colors come to the transparency and reduce it to zero percent okay then make sure you're choosing the linear gradient after you choose the linear gradient we want to make sure we are rotating it so click on position and come to rotate and set it to 180 okay and you should have something like this so we can also select this you know our photos make it bigger and bring it down over here then the next thing we can do is to press t on our keyboard to say anything we want to say i'll just say we are the future okay and after i have that i'll move it to the top a little bit and make it bold okay then duplicate this and i'm just going to bring in a quote i pulled out from chat gpd <laughs> okay so teenagers are the seas of tomorrow going blah blah blah, blah. anyway so we we'll just remove the boldness from it and just to keep it you know simple okay like we do over here and i may just reduce this a little bit and bring it here okay something easy and something very simple so we can keep it here then the last thing we want to do is to you know make sure this turns into an animation so we just select this okay don't click on a particular photo make sure you click and you know drag to highlight it okay once you do that come into animate or animate and come down there are so many animations in here okay but the one we are looking for is rotation okay so once you have rotation you would see that we have the speed reduce the speed okay yeah reduce the speed and you can set it how you want it to so you can either make it rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise okay but anyone i think works for me and um, i want it to be clockwise this is what i just wanted to teach you how to create inside of canva and i hope you found it helpful just in case you're looking for more tutorials you know make sure to smash on the like button and subscribe